Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Derek and I am from Addictive Tips. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to customize the Alex DE desktop. So I've already done a video on the Alex QT desktop and this is its distant cousin or brother, I guess. It's built on the GTK technologies instead of the QT technologies. And some say that this makes it a bit slow and outdated, but I think it still has a use case. So if you want to customize it, let's start off with the panel. So the panel, if you want to remove any item, just select it and then click the remove button. And uh, this will let you delete whatever you'd like from the panel. You can also change the panel by right clicking on it and clicking panel settings. From here, you have the ability to change the location of the panel. You can also change the appearance itself and you can make the panel use the system theme rather than the images that it uses. You can use it with a opacity filter or you can use a background image uh, you know pretty cool I'd like to keep it to system theme uh, there's also panel applets and uh, this is what I was removing earlier if you'd like to add panel applets just select any of them from the list and you can add as many as you'd like if you want to create a entirely new panel just click create new panel and then your panel will be right here then just go to panel settings like before change the alignment and uh, add your applets but that's enough about panels. Let's talk about the window manager really quick. So Alex QT, excuse me, Alex DE, I get those confused sometimes as you can see, but uh, Alex DE uses the open box configuration tool, <clears throat> window manager, and it's a configuration tool to set up everything. It doesn't have its own window manager. So press Alt F2 on the keyboard and then just type in obconf. Now this will open up the open box configurator and from here you can just select individual window manager themes. I would say generally go with one that matches the overall theme of your desktop. So if I'm going for a blue theme, I might select this one and then I would go into appearance by typing LX appearance. And then I would say, hmm, what theme goes with this bear two theme? And I would say, how about this one? I like this one. And then I click apply and it will instantly change Maybe I want to use Graybird. I can go here and I can change and make it look however I'd like. You can also change a lot of other settings in OpenBox that most users don't really mess around with, but the options are there, like the orientation for the dock, which is the panel, and other things to that effect. But in the regular customization settings for the window border, you can also change that here too, but uh, it's generally better to use the obconf. Anyways, you can also change the icon theme if you'd like. If you don't like the default theme that it comes with, you can just go here and select any of the individual icons on the list and it will instantly go through and select the new ones. I'm gonna select the Lubuntu because I like that icon theme. And uh, you can customize the font as always. It doesn't have as much font customization as usual like on most other desktops because it's so lightweight, but it lets you change the rendering options as well as hinting and anti-aliasing and uh, the, the pixel geometry. And uh, for those of you who care about the GUI options, you can change those too. There's lots of different customization options. Once you've made your customizations, just click the apply button and that's about it. Uh, lastly, if you'd like to delete a panel, right click on it and then just click delete this panel. And uh, there you go. I hope you guys learned how to customize the LXDE desktop. I try to uh, make this easy to understand. It's a great desktop, especially for those of you who have low amounts of resources on your computer and you're using Linux, definitely a good one to check out. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go because this video is gonna be pretty long if I don't, but I will see you in the next video.